Shut up. What? Nationalist. Welcome. Wait, that's not the same way. That doesn't work the same way. <laughs> no. Welcome to uh, no, not to Thursday. Thursday night. We <laughs> talk box to shut the fuck up. I got, yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. We want to make sure we get the f bombs in as soon as uh, we can because we want to ensure our players uh, know why we're earning the mature label on our stream. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. We have the uh, the usual crew. In fact, the the standard crew. I'm gonna we'll go right to left this week with our group scribe, John, playing the role role of the great Zvorowski, the oh. the lovely and makeup Anna, who is playing Elona, the half orc monk. I'm pretty, unlike my character. Definitely not the barbarian. Uh, the incredibly talented and fun Hector playing the Raven Queen's Warlock, Cole Voidfang. And of course, you all know the Fax Fox, playing Jake Dean Melshimber! I, of course... That's kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, of course, am uh, DM Roy, and we are Nerd League Gaming. <laughs> We're something, all right. Oh, we are something. Boom! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thank you for joining us on this balmy, sunny Thursday. What's, what's weather like up north, up in uh, Canada? Is there a... Uh... raining here. It was snowing. It's raining too. in Ohio, too. Rain, rain, snow. Snow. And yep. Was Miami still like 90? Sun. Yeah. Sun. <laughs> Sun, <laughs> sunny and 90. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> hey, it dipped down. It was like 72. Whoa, man, that's like... Yeah. Solid fall weather. Pretty, it's, it's, yeah. pretty cool. it's pretty cold. It's people are walking around in sweaters. <laughs> Whoa! Did you just say people are walking around in sweaters? At sweaters 72? at seventy-two. Yeah, it's Miami. It's always like ninety here. I wear shorts at like forty. Uh, like I don't wear full oh, shorts and flip flops. I love 40. the cooler temperatures. I'm saying there are Miamians that will. It dips below seventy-five, and they're in sweaters oh, and in furry Uggs. Kill them! Oh jeez. Roy's dead. All right, who's DMing now? Am I lightier now? He's fine. He's fine. You say You're lightier? Here. Light. Well, I my I had the more lit. Lady fam. No, I don't need to be any more lit. We're good. We're lit. Lit. Lit level is good for now. Um. So yes, Thursday night, and this is this is my favorite Thursday night. In fact, this is going to be our our last game this, next week. Will be this off very one because this is it the is. One. Uh, oh, oh! Did I say that out loud? No, 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 don't watch. If you're if you're a grognard, forget I said that. Completely forget I said that. Just I don't go. think the grognards agree yet. You're fine. All right, good. So next week we'll take off. Of course, it's Thanksgiving, which is which is kind of fun because like being being a, like a total ignorant American, I was talking to Fax at some point and uh, I was like, hey, yeah, so you know we're gonna be out for Thanksgiving. He's like, Thanksgiving, yeah, that's when, when when's the Thanksgiving thing that you guys do? And I'm like, huh? So yeah, Thanksgiving is totally like an American thing. So half our group here is. Or like, uh, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, fine. So, but <laughs> we'll skip, I guess. <sighs> well, we already did our Thanksgiving a month ago. Ah. Yeah, we didn't observe their Thanksgiving, Roy. What the fuck? Yeah, I totally yeah, missed rude. it. Rude. I. How I, dare you? I, I would look at next year. We're gonna do everyone's Thanksgiving. In fact, next month we'll do well, everyone's Christmas just, or Hanukkah or whatever you. I don't know, whatever the the thing is, right? I don't know. I don't know what either. I don't. I don't what celebrate is... holidays and pagan rituals and things like that. Come on, man. Where's your paganism? You've got to be like, come on. I'm not, I'm not. I don't. I'm not a pagan, and so I don't sell and celebrate pagan holidays for the most part. He I'll celebrate them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So holidays aside, uh, fantastic. So yes, let's get into the game, shall we? Let me remind everyone who is tuning in that uh, we are again glad to see you here. Find us on all the social media stuff, Nerd League Gaming. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Twitch, of course. Here we are. YouTube, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I'm missing some stuff in there. I don't know. Blah, blah. The usual uh, social media stuff. If you can follow us on here, we appreciate it. And let me give the early reminder, because this session might need it, that we do do... What do we what do we do we have an official name for the bits for inspiration? We do do bits for inspiration. inspiration. Yeah. So this group especially 
They're mm-hmm. often in need of rerolls. Uh, if you want to always con- in need of rerolls. <laughs> I'm much. really in need of rerolls. <laughs> Especially, yeah. If you want to, uh, if you find yourself involved in the story or or favoring a character, or the DM, and or you decide DM. that you would like to alter the outcome of a roll for a mere two hundred bits, you can give inspiration to any player or the DM. And, just the players. And, and that it person only works for the players. No, 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 no. Tuesday night the DM gets inspiration. Thursday night the DM also gets inspiration. I gave you inspiration Tuesday night. I should get to use it tonight. I feel like that. I should be like a no, general that's DM not how pool. It works. I gave you it. You can't use it against me. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like the best irony ever, no. though. Like no. No. Fine. No. That's just rude. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 <laughs> In... I'll probably just critter anyways, and it'll be fine. Exactly, you're gonna shot one shot me anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> in the uh, in the interface, first hit anyway. <laughs> Does a 37 hit? <clears throat> yes. Oh boy. <laughs> each <clears throat> you can see in the interface, each character does have their own inspiration tokens below their character portrait. So as those uh, as those bits come in and inspiration piles up, we'll add those to the portraits, and they can use them <clears throat> however they like. Okay, is, am I missing anything? Um, usually fun. All right, fantastic. So this, John, are you feeling better? Yeah. Okay. Mostly. Can we, can we give the? Are we gonna recap? Can uh. we give like the like the super? I know, I know, a ton happened last week. We. It was way too much to ask for this to be fast. Oh yeah. man. I'll, I'll I'll do as quick as I can. So the first day we search the noon manor, uh, try and find valuable items. Don't really find anything. Wait, the we new were manor. Also. What do you mean the new manor? Our troll skull manor. All uh, right. So you guys uh, actually completed the the original quest you were given finally, and as a reward, were awarded this manor house, right? This giant four story manor in Troll Skull Alley in the north ward of Waterdeep. That's a big prize. It is currently a shithole, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 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 and also potentially haunted by a spirit. Uh, we found some magic books in the study that were held in place by the magic. We couldn't move them. And they also caused visions and of or hearing laughter, whispers, and crying of children. Uh, we kind of mocked the spirit, Cole and, Z- Cole and Zavrosky did, and books started flying at them. They got hurt a little bit from that. It's pretty awesome. Uh, as well, before that, Cole had a dream about a raven dying to imps or demons of some kind in the cemetery and gets the feeling he needs to get vengeance for that. And that was in the City of the Dead in Waterdeep that he had that vision. And Cole and Jason checked it out already. <laughs> well, well, we'll get that to that. That was a little <laughs> bit later. That's not what happens in sequential order, Yes, it is. No so skipping ahead while we in your notes. <laughs> While we were uh, checking out the manor, we were also uh, interrupted by a halfling from the Fellowship of Innkeepers named Broxley. Uh, he's told us all about the information about getting the place fixed up, how it was in our best interest to get help from the guilds, and in, in particular, his Fellowship of Innkeepers. And the cost to get Troll Skull Manor up and running would be 1,000 gold, and then the fees for the guilds would be 250 gold to get it all fully licensed with, with the required guilds to run a business and then he gave us the cost for staffing and other things as well as after that another man came while talk we were talking to broxley as well as a flying snake delivered a a letter to alona the man was looking for zabrowski and he was carted off in secret to the melshimber estate where he had a meeting with Jake's dad. Dun, dun, dun. And he is now being paid to watch over Jake's activities and make Snitch. sure he stays on a good path. Snitch! What a Free. narc! Free the, money! Free narc. money. The letter to Lona was from the Zentarum. Yegrad vouched for her to get a job from a man in the dock ward, which they met up with later. More info on that later. As well, Ilona forgot about something while reading the, or starting to read the letter and met up with her nice mailman from the monastery, Padgam Graz, to get her stash for the next coming weeks of what she needed. Fuck you, Jake. <laughs> uh, after that, Cole and Jake searched through the City of the Dead during the day. Cole used his magic eyes to try and sense anything 
out of place with no luck, they were also confronted by Sergeant Ambrose about loitering through the grave. He's our buddy. Yard. It's fine. But they smooth talked him. And while they smooth talked him, he actually slipped up and said there are enough troubles in the city of the dead already. But they didn't get any more info from that. After that, later in the day, Zavrosky joined Alona at the Yawning Portal to discuss with her Zintarum friends, Dabble, Starsong, and Yagra about work in the dock board. They were offered the job as well as joining the Zintarum organization. Uh, to give herself a bit more credit, Yag or Alona gave Yagra the necklace of Krent's knuckles and told him that she curb stomped his face. <laughs> they were quite impressed by that. I think that's a direct and quote, actually. <laughs> it was a direct quote. <laughs> yep. And we were told about the fact that someone was murdering people in the dock ward, half elf and elf sailors, and Dabo has a keen interest in the people that were being killed. So we were supposed to look into that for a couple hundred gold and also to maybe get information I've got setting up with a loan shark from the Zintarum about getting the Troll Skull, skull Manor up and running. Discount on that load would definitely be available if we also join the organization. And we also talked about setting up a brawl between Yagra and Alona as the opening night of the Troll Skull Manor. Give you my yep. ass kicked. It's Already did. Put, putting asses in the seats, baby. Uh, as that was happening, Cole and Jake met with Renair. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't have any liquid funds to help offer to us for saving his life and uh, get the Troll Skull Miner up and running, but he did offer to get us in contact with a moneylender, Mert, who is a open, quote-unquote, mass lord of Waterdeep, which is quite odd because most of them stay hidden. Uh, but we were given the chance to go to the, the opera within about a week, I believe, to meet with Lord Mert so that yeah, we all, could... All four of us. No. So that we no. could potentially set up some money lending through him. Formal attire required. Yep. Do they have to have sleeves? <laughs> and I just lost Jake, too. Let's go, Jake. Oh, Only. man. <laughs> Zorowski also uh, made a new fan, Bob, Bob? as he yep. uh, complimented... <laughs> yes! <laughs> complimented his coach driver on the way to the Melchimber estate and offered to have him uh, get a free drink and enjoy the show that Zavrosky put on that night. Bob man, showed up, uh, man. He was Bob, like front row, Bob. man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bob's uh, like, Kids. As well, when Jake was returning to the Troll Skull Manor, he was approached by some Xanthar's acquaintance, uh, Kethos, and a few of his friends who wanted to use the male shimmer name for some of their own business. Jake was a bit apprehensive, but they told him to meet him the next day. Uh, as After that, uh, Cole got to walk in on Yagra and Alona having a private fight at the Troll Skull Manor, which ended up with them hearts, hearts, hearts. Having a, a good fight that Alona did end up losing, but they ended up then that? retiring upstairs and spent the night together. You Didn't lost lose. you lost the fight. You won, the... I won the war. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally before going Gosh, to sleep, so Jake oh heard a woman's voice in his head. Young Mel Shimmer, this is the Black Staff. Bring your friends to the tower tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow morning. And Shit. that is our bard with direct quotes too. Jesus Christ. He left off. This dude is out of control, man. He does. He's got better notes than I do. I, I don't even like to have to do this. I can just like make shit up and then read his notes and then that's that's the game. It's fine. Like I assume that's start, what start it's time to start throwing in like favors to myself in the notes. Yeah, just uh, them yeah in. absolutely. Zabrowski and Zavrowski only hit level three. Weird. <laughs> Wait, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Yeah. He's actually level 20 now, and uh, he owns everything in yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta give him yeah. props for that. That's smart. You know, smart he's a masked lord. He's a masked lord now. He's a masked lord now. So, yeah. So, a lot happened last week. You guys have many, many, many options here. You um, <clears throat> you do have this, this manor house that I know you guys have sort of expressed some interest in fixing up and getting into a, a viable business. Uh, you've got several things you want to do. Uh, I believe that we closed last. You guys were actually going to sleep. Is that correct? It was the evening, and you guys were actually headed to bed. 
Those are discussions of bed. I know Jake was headed up to the attic. Just ignore whatever sounds you hear coming from the master bedroom. Jesus. Were we going to try to 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 go to the cemetery again before we passed out? I don't know, Cole. Are we? I think we should. Yeah. I think you need to bring it up, though. I think you need to approach somebody about this problem. I think I'll uh, walk up to Zabrowski. There you go. Zabrowski is playing or retired at the tavern. Oh, yeah, he went to the other tavern. He, yeah. Yeah. That's right. he does he's not sleep in the current place. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's tavern. right. That's right. He's, too, he's like, too fancy for the rest of us. But you know uh, where he is. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll head over to uh, the in your playing uh, and I'll sit through your set and wait for you to finish and I'll. Uh, All right, it's a bit you, so call you to be to be sure. It's a bit of a walk. Like it's most of an hour's walk to get down to where Zavrosky is. So if you were going to, yo, you, Zavrosky didn't just like shun this place. He was like, I can't be. He's like, like, I have to. Leave. This place. And I have to be, be uh, far away. I had to be in a it, had, it had to be a fine establishment. Let's get that clear. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, so... I'm soiled by this place, so I need to be in a separate district. Yeah. Yeah. He also yeah. doesn't want to like separate zip code. He doesn't want to play at a place right nearby and then sully his name by switching to Trollskull Manor and making that place feel indignant. He's got a yeah, little sure. bit. That's what it is. He Bruh. doesn't want to have bad blood by like the neighboring tavern when yeah. he switches <laughs> to Trollskull. Whatever, Nark. Okay, well then, if if this is going to be such which an is issue, which is fine, I'll all I'm saying is that if go you're going to like and bother Jake, Jake, yeah, if you're trying to, I'm just saying, if you're trying to assemble the Avengers, you might want to get the others first before you like. I, I am trek not going to bother. Uh, Don't Alona. you dare open my door! I, I, you want me to die? He has two massive half orc ladies. He would be interrupting. Does he Do you want die? me to die, Roy? All right, but if you're going on a combat mission, they may be good. I mean, I don't, you know, it has not to cross your mind. We'll be fine. <laughs> you can say that now. Until you KO. So Jake, hearing Cole call up to the attic, he kind of comes down out of the attic. What's what's going on? Going to sleep already? I uh, yeah. What was there something you wanted to do? I thought we were going to check out the cemetery at night. Oh yeah, that was a thing. I you know with everything else that went on with Rainier and got some other things going on with my head, I completely forgot about that. I can do it. Yeah, I'm down. You, you, I mean, you don't have to come. I'll go by myself. No, no, I, I'm good to go. I'm good. I just, I thought I was going to bed. That's all. Let me put on a shirt. I mean, you kind of look <laughs> nice like that. <laughs> I ship it. I ship it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I ship the so hard. I, I still feel like I should throw on some armor, though. Uh, uh, yes, it's probably better that way. <laughs> but not a bad look. Yeah, yeah, great, great. We got Elona and Iagra in one room. We've got Cole and Jake oh, in another Jake. room. Whew. Hey, this we're right in hot... the stairwell. No secrets. No secrets. This, no house secrets is, here. this house is hot, man. This house is... <laughs> Ironically... So how how, how it's far the... away is, is, is the City of the Dead from... from... Troll skull. Not too far. At least, it, ironically, the bard is the only one living a normal life, while the rest of you guys are all like <laughs> getting the. Can I, so, to be fair, the bard is the only one that's actually at a mat at like a full maturity. Oh Jake's twenty goodness. years old. This is like fully twenty year old behavior, living in a shithole that you can just barely afford. Everyone fucking. I mean, we're gonna make it better. I mean, I know, but that's, I'm just explaining like that. Um, uh, we're living the perfect 20 year old life right now. I feel yeah, like we're in that. So we own property. We're 20. We own property. Yeah. We own we're, we're ahead of I the think, curve. Yeah. Way ahead of the curve. Two -year -old, like I would kill for a four story house right now. So. Exactly. See? Yeah. So you guys are basically uh, kind of up here in the North Ward, right? So you're roughly up here. Oh, you can see far. City of the Dead and the. Um, Yawning Portal is actually down here, coming in the, so... And where's Zavrosky? Yeah. The Yawning Portal, he's down down near oh, the dock so he, Okay, that's why he's so far away. That's right, that's okay. right. So you guys so are kind of basically... How, how, much, how much is a carriage down to the Yawning Portal? Ooh, a carriage to the Yawning Portal. Uh, let's see, that's kind of... Cutting that time, cutting that time. That's most of the time. Okay, let's call that five silvers. Sweet. And <clears> what was the time? I'm sorry, five doing? shards? Uh, that that'll cut the time down significantly. We'll cut that time. That's gonna be like like a fifteen minute ride, as oh, opposed okay, to like yeah, a forty five minute walk. Yeah, 
And this Carl, is the time I have, I, no, I have no money. I don't think. Hold it, on. It's let me fine. See, let me uh, see what I've got. Let me see what I, I've got. I, I, I'll take care of it. I, no, I don't mind pitching. I don't mind pitching at all. I just need to make sure that yeah. I have some money. I don't. Jake, yeah, I can do it. I can do I, it. I got it. Stop, stop looking in your wallet. I got this okay, already. Okay. I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you pay this time. This I got the ride back. This yes. isn't okay. a, a super crowded time of day. Like if it's, you know, in like the middle of the day, this trip could take you easily hour and a half, two hours, depending on like traffic and stuff. Though, like I say, carriages and stuff generally get places much quicker than just walking on foot. It's also, well, less. If you get to the carriage, you're going to get from point A to point B. All right. So you guys get to the. Less interruptions. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So uh, you guys get to the yawning portal and you, the carriage drops you off. Gives you a, a hail. Thank you. Is, is Zav in the middle of a set? Good night, sirs. Uh, uh, here's, your, here's, your, here's, your, here's your here's your here's your pay. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, thank a, you. A, an extra bit. What? Oh. So, yeah. An extra nib? Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I should have um, at least got the tip. We are so really nice to today. cabbies, guys. We are really nice to cabbies. You gotta treat cabbies with respect. Come on now. They're pe cabbies are people too. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, Zavrowski is, uh, he's, he's jamming. You guys get in there, he's jamming. And there's uh, the crowd sort of thrumming. Uh, he's in his set. Zavrowski, can you give me a... What's the performance check in 5e? Um, performance. performance. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Literally let's see. Let's see how good the show is, Zavrosky. Oh man. <laughs> All right. Just had a couple show. today. Keeping that, keeping them rolls going. He's doing. He, oh, he's doing a streak. You know, it's it's a passable show. You know, oh, you get nice. in there. The crowd's kind of, they're not rocking out, but they're they're enjoying their beers. There's there's a couple of, couple of head bobs going on. You know, not. Uh, he's so he's been I, at the the I'd yawning like to, portal for long, and then he's starting to phone it in a little bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to it. imagine that that he's he's not even playing music. He's just like telling the same story that he told like three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing a second set. He's trying on like this audience. <laughs> yeah, literally every fresh. That is. Yeah, he's like trying out new ideas for music he's you know sort of experimenting a bit uh, being very experimental yeah he's doing it's some crowd work that's not working out so well there's a heckler it's just not it's, it's not a good <laughs> it's, it's Jake. It, it, it really is, is Jake. Cannot, get off the stage we need you would be a heckler jake <laughs> would sit in the audience and heckle someone uh yeah so you're here at the yanni portal oh. sweet uh we'll we'll uh respectfully wait for him to finish and then uh, call him over. Yeah, that's fine. You can kind of catch them as you're sort of finishing this story. You, you kind of catch their eye and you finish up and... He does his regular flourish and bow before he gets off the stage. Friends! Zabrowski, that, that, that what was, brings you down? That was lovely, Zabrowski. It was very lovely. It, it might have been one of my more derivative works, but I'll, I'll oh, just scratch but, that Oh, you're so talented. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I come asking for a favor. Of course. Uh, what do you need? Me and Jake, we, we checked out the, the cemetery earlier today, but I recalled once we were already over there, that my dream was at night. Well, so most of the time your dreams are at night, but this, like, the, well, no, sorry, like, refresh me on this dream. dream. What, yeah, what, was, uh, yeah. what was happening in your dream? I told you this. It, they, yeah, yeah, but it's they, been a long was, day. There was ravens being killed by little, like, winged demon things that were almost the same size as the ravens. Mm. With, like, a stinger. Imps. Yes, those Imps. things. Demons afoot, eh? And I was hoping that you might be done here and we could go check it out. I believe I've been performing for long enough to earn my stay. We can head out. Excellent. So let's go. On our way to the City of the Dead at night. Oh, yeah. That's, what, say that's where... Zavrosky will say his goodbyes to... Is it Dernan? Dernan. Yes, it is. Dernan Troll Slayer. <laughs> so he'll Troll! likely be back in a few hours. Transition. I am so glad we're not bringing, you know, Alona because she's too busy fucking Yagra. We're giving her her space. I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> so you guys head up 
not too far. Um, and you arrive at the City of the Dead. So the City of the Dead is this enormous, at least as far as the city goes, this enormous area. And it's completely enclosed by walls all the way around. There are gates in the, the southern, the northern, and the western side. There are entrances and gates. At nighttime, which is where you are now, these gates are closed. And there are clear signs posted um, against trespassing here in the City of the Dead. I didn't know you couldn't go in the City of the Dead at night. Did you know that? I did not. That's going to, like, hinder... Um, yeah, uh, sneaking to into yeah. here at night is going to be an issue. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's going to be an issue. Uh, let's uh, let's I see mean, if we, we can find out. Zoroski is already pulling out like a uh, a wrap for his head. So he's, like, <laughs> he's he's wrapped. <laughs> he's he's already disguising himself so yeah, he doesn't get back recognized. Into pirate gear. The bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> not not a pirate this time. He's got like a, a head wrap, almost making himself seem like he's got a he mummy's head wrap around his face. Jake sees he's, this. And he's he's been like, yeah. injured gravely. <laughs> Starts pulling his shirt up over top of his head. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, let's let's uh, let's scope out the area, see if we can find an easy spot in. Right, so, and perhaps uh, if we well, get caught, if if we get caught, how about this for an idea? We are practicing for a play. I am being the monster, and we thought the graveyard would be the perfect setting to get our roles correct. Perfect. It's I it's the perfect ambiance. It's what we want to bring to the stage. It gets us into proper character. I like it. Let's go with it. Let's Woo. go with it. Ambiance. Say it again. One more time, Daddy. Yes. <laughs> Um, Hector, yes. I'm the slutty one. Stop it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The wheels are wobbling. The wheels are wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's... Oh, man. So you guys, yes. So it is, in fact, uh, getting in. It, it is very dead of night. The, the moon is a half moon, though it gives a, a decent amount of light that you can see by fairly well. It's pretty easy to get over. The walls here are only 10 foot walls. So if you want to sort of hop over a wall, it's relatively easy to get yourselves over that if you'd like. And you find yourselves in the city of the dead. It is a place that is full of graves and crypts. There is a lot of foliage and such, but not too much. And the place is quiet as you would expect, but it, the maybe it's the walls or maybe it's something else, but this entire place seems insulated from the normal hubbub of the city. There's there's usually always someone laughing or some noises in the city, but here, those sounds are muffled. And you find yourselves in the southern part of the City of the Dead. Now, Hector, do you know where Who, who's this? we are supposed to go? Who are you talking to? I mean, Cole. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is Hector now. We're in role playing. Hector mode, is bitch. your current stage name. Don't, Who is don't this worry. Hector? Oh, you're talking oh, okay. about. <laughs> okay. Layers, people! There are so many layers! At least he didn't insinuate you do drugs. Fully drugs. immersed. Fully immersed. Insinuate? It's. Uh, I mean, you did. Uh, you I mean, you bought them yeah. already. <laughs> you. I mean. Uh, I, think, I think we should be as quiet as possible, uh, but. Keep your eyes open for birds, specifically ravens. Ah! Oh, right. sorry. Do, do you remember if it was a specific area of the city? Uh, that it, this, you place seeing? Is, this place is so big that it, it all looks the same. So it's right. kind of a, a, a cast a wide net type thing. Okay. So. And does Zavrowski know whether they went to the graveyard today would they have told them yeah i think we would have gone over that at some point okay. before we parted ways for the night and then cole remembered that we should go back all right uh he'll ask if you guys had found a similar looking area during the day then it's that everything looks exactly the same there's so many mausoleums there are so many big trees is it's it's a lot of the same so the main thing to look out for is these ravens, but be quiet while we do so. Yes, because we don't want to scare them away, and 
if we can get close enough, I can check with my eyes to see if there's anything that's transformed into the birds, like I saw in my dream. Sounds good. So it's kind of like, you know, quiet and sneaky. So let's try and find these birds, huh? Okay, so you guys begin your trek around the City of the Dead. It's, it is legitimately spooky here, and you, you keep looking around. You spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes wandering around. You see the first thing that catches your eye is a glimpse of light, and you look, and off to your left, you see what is definitely a light sort of bobbing in the distance, far, like, through different crypts, through these trees, you can see a light sort of bobbing in the distance. Do, do you know if there's patrols through I, this I, 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 didn't, oh, I, didn't even, I didn't even know this place was closed at night. <laughs> <laughs> there was patrols during the day. We got stopped by one, so I figured there's probably one at night, too. I should have said something before, but I didn't think about it. Okay, just be quiet. Let's, you know, try and be sneaky and hide and sneak around here. Does the, does the light look like torchlight, by the way? If right? you guys kind of look in, um, <clears throat> not torchlight, probably a lantern or something that maybe is bobbing through the the area. It's it's a, a ways away. You'd have to get closer to really see what it is. Should should we get closer to see if it is a patrol or not? It could be um, some of the troubles the guard was talking about earlier. Okay, so it's either the imps that we're looking for, could be that, or it's guards or something worse. We got a one in three shot, really. It's like it's. I, I mean, one in three is pretty good. I've played on worse odds. Let's do it. Okay, can we approach sneakily? That will take a. That'll take a sneak roll. Um, in fact, each of the three of you, go ahead and make me a sneak roll. Where's the wise? Jake is not a sneaky thief. God damn it, you guys. What I the have a hell? plus five! We are on fire. Well, Alona's really glad she's not here right now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Third time than you are. We are the best guys. They saw all of us. All right, so you guys start heading towards the the light and uh you... jake trips over that stone he pointed out earlier in the day <laughs> yeah jake trips over it's the, the stone. <laughs> jake trips over the stone and cole looks over at you and he's like Shh! and as he's looking at you he bumps his head into a branch and he's like oh ah, geez and and he's like you buffoon you should oh and the the light stops <laughs> And you see it. You I'm see it sort of. To run. It holds the light. The you still. You guys are a ways away from the light, so the light kind of. Stops. Everybody down. <laughs> Air raid. Tense. A tense minute goes by. Crouched in the bush. Crouched in a bush. And the, the light continues on. Sort of in your direction now. We should probably start moving the other way. Uh, yes. Yes, away from the light would be good. Well, I mean, or we can just go towards the least, light and we can find out where we're going. At it's least, still a one in three shot. At least not where we were making so much noise. Yes, let's move away from here. Okay, okay. All right, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to follow your lead. It's far enough away that you guys could pretty easily sort of dodge it, and it kind of heads over towards your direction, and you guys leave, and it heads over in that same direction and leaves you. And you find yourselves, after several minutes, once again, quietly in the City of the Dead. All right. I let's, feel like let's... we should have investigated that light. We can follow it and see see now that it's passed. I'm having. I'm just having second guessing, and it's actually. You know if, if you if you feel it's important, let's go. Let's no, go. No, 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 no. Don't trust my gut. Don't trust my gut. <laughs> don't trust me. Whatever I say, don't do that. Whatever. Is, is your is your gut not trustworthy? I just. <laughs> yes. I don't fully trust it right now. It's, it's more of a cemetery thing. Twenty years. We're in a cemetery at night. Okay, I, so I, I'm going to go follow the light now because oh. he's being weird. 
We trusted your gut for 20 years, I, sir. I had Taco Bell. Look at where my it gut. got us. Do my gut, do whatever you do, don't trust my gut. My gut is definitely not. My gut's got antacid, all right? All right, so you guys are following the light. Yeah. Okay, I need another round of sneak rolls. Don't suck this time, guys. Oh, uh, more sneak rolls? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even roll now, but I'm going to anyways. Yes, Damn it. This is great. This is great. Look at it. They rolled so well, and you're right. garbage. You know what? It, it teetered on 20, and then it rolled. Don't All right, so you guys... Teeter. You guys are following you guys are following the light at a distance and you're kind of trying to see what it is and it, it's hard to see because like I said you're, you're trying to keep your distance and you close in and the well two of the three of you are, are stealthily walking along and Cole finds himself trying to peek out around this one gravestone and as he does he leans on it and it actually falls over and he lands in this pile in this loud crash and the light stops and you hear the sound of feet running towards you aren't you glad Alona isn't those there? aren't imps run <laughs> get her it's time to run <laughs> away Cole. Jake bounces Jake, Jake's already like yeah, yeah. on Jake knows am Jake I trapped, knows, am I trapped, knows, trapped, trapped under this under you're not this, trapped uh, under uh, it uh, but you are no. you are definitely sighted with your natural one sweet uh, so you start uh, running to where? Uh, as as I'm as I'm running away, I'm gonna like choose an obvious path, and I'm gonna turn my face into the orc that uh, Minuteman orc. <laughs> Rumshar, Rumshar, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rumshar, yeah, him. Rumshar it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my face into his, and then uh, I'll get caught ish. Yeah, they're they're chasing you, so they can kind of if you if you wanted to try to like completely dodge, you probably could because you've got a big head start. They're far away, but you can definitely walk slowly, and they can catch you within a round or two. Right. Um, so it's sort of I'm your option if you off. want to try to like make a dodge or yeah, either way, mm -hmm. or, or make this op this obvious obfuscation. I, I want to make sure that they get away. Jake's on the heel to express. He's getting away. He's ahead of Yeah. Everybody. Well, Jake and Zavrosky. He left. He left well. Everything. Well, he was still falling over. Basically. Jake and Zavrosky have, have <laughs> rolled some pretty solid stealth rolls, so they're they're well hidden. You're sort of the one that's okay, like. Okay. So it's, hey it's me. Well, I'll, I'll take I'll take the different face and I'll just keep booking it. Okay. Uh, you can actually evade them pretty easily and get to a wall and hop the wall and get but out like, of here. But like each each like I'm I'm looking back with the orc face. So they get a look at the orc Oh, face. so you're trying to... I see. So you're kind of like slowing down a little bit Strange to let job. them... Strange job. All right, right on, right on. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can find a clearing where the half moon is shining brightly and sort of stop. Like, ah, dun, and just like... Ah, dun, and, and like dun, say, dun, say dun, jacket. Dun, They're dun, quick, but like an orc. Really loud. Right on, right on. Okay. Um, and right, then yeah, book it. And just find a little spot where it's safe, and I'll just try to round back to to the other guys. Ooh, okay, that's gonna require a stealth check. Oh, I'll scatter. Yeah, so you can if you want to just escape and leave, that you can do since you have such a big head start. <laughs> <laughs> I am the best at this. I have a plus five. As a reminder, if anyone wants to give Cole inspiration, <laughs> I'm going to use on. my last one. I might have some bits. Try and roll roll. Again. Hang on, Cole. I'm going to have some bits for you. I might be able to give you some, get you some bits. Yeah, I'm going to donate bits to you. You're that There, 15. 15 is solid. Okay. But still, Cole, I've got to make an opposed roll. All right. Oh, <sighs> I have oh. to. What? Yes! <laughs> all right, all right. so so you, you can it. you're able to to run with these guys and they chase off after you and you make as if you're headed straight to the wall and they run and then at some point you sort of just take a quick dodge and you hide out and they so it's, a, it's actually a patrol as it's, it's they run past you you can see it's a patrol of six of the town's guard half a dozen town's guards sort of as a group Jeez. apparently <laughs> well run yeah, apparently they're not uh, they're not messing around here in the city of the dead. Which is, and this is a lot. Usually they patrol in pairs. In the dock ward, you might find them in fours. Uh, a patrol of six people is 
definitely Some shit is going down in this cemetery definitely strange um and they do they they, they run past you and uh they they leave head towards the wall and they they do they they're sort of like looking about and, and there are now actually three lights so two more of them light lanterns as they as they look around and they're they're up on the wall trying to find out sort of there and they they eventually head over towards the gate um, that's in the northwestern part of the city of the dead <clears throat> and they leave the area where you are so you're All after right. a couple Thanks. of minutes once again silence descends upon the city of the dead and you are alone Cole. Separated Wait, from your gonna, two friends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head back in to where close to where we were. Okay, uh, you do head back in, and you hear you hear as you head back in in a in a tree nearby you. You hear a, and you look up. In instantly turn on the 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 Eldritch sight, and you look up, and there's a raven in the tree above you, Does and it the look eyes. Like a raven? glint red in the moonlight and it looks at you and it it almost smiles and you, and you look fire. over you look over and nearby two more a light you know a, a flit of i made a flurry of fl flurry of feathers that's hard to say who's amid a flurry of feathers i made a flurry of feathers. two more land and they look at you smiling eyes also red glowing in the moonlight Crows shouldn't be able to smile. All right, so I'm I'm looking at them with the the Eldritch sight, <clears throat> tech magic. If they're using transformation magic to look like things, I should be able to see the magic. They do, in fact, radiate alteration magic. Excellent. And then out like quietly, but loud enough where somebody that's in my immediate area would hear it. Jake. Zabrowski! And they, they sort of they sort of look at you and they caught and they they hop around and form a kind of triangle around you and they hop on a, a branch closer to you. I'm, I'm gonna draw my sword. Like you are the ones I was sent to find. Mm. Alright, we're gonna call this initiative. Jake and Zavrowski, you guys are nearby but you're going to be a little bit out of range of where they are right now. Um, do you want to, did you say roll initiative? Let's do, yes. In fact, let's hang on. Let's okay. change this all out. This is some initiative, Thanks. friends. Shall we haven't had a combat in a good long while. Where are these guys? Hang on, let me get my encounter. Back. I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, you are having the best time out of all of us, okay? <laughs> I'm guessing that's the wrong combat tracker. That's not an imp. A yeti. Hold on, let's get some better. Let's get some, uh, some, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Now that we're in combat. Oh, baby. Uh oh, 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 no. Combat map? Oh, this is a bad move. Uh, no, for this, I thought we would just leave the. Oh, okay. We're just gonna wing it. Leave the graveyard, yeah. And uh, so basically, we're gonna put you and Zavrowski a dash away, so you guys will be at range. Cole will be in, <clears throat> not in melee, but these guys are right above you. So Cole, you would have to get to one of them to melee them if you wanted to. Of course, they're short range from you. They're all around you as well. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's, it's three. You said. There are three of these guys, indeed. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, Let me put them on here. All right, boom, boom, and boom. Um, all right, Cole with a twenty initiative. There's a yeti on the tracker. What? Oh, yep. Hang on. Take him off. Sorry, I was testing yeah, some yeah. things. I was testing. That's I was how I did worried. the sounds. I was a little worried. Hey, look. All of a it's, sudden, yeti shows up. It's hard work to make these sounds. I mean, you just, you just wait. You just wait. They're coming in. Here come, here come What's the What's this yeti doing in the graveyard? Run! Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, that's the other then, story. The, uh... I'm sorry, Cole. Yeah, so it's Cole. It's your turn. So these these three uh, ravens are around you. And they're... Uh, you said they're, like, ten feet up? Yeah, each one. So you could easily, like, climb a tree to get to one if you wanted to, but it would be... All right. Uh, I will stay on the ground. Okay. And I will... 
bring my hands together, and as I pull them apart, a spectral blade appears in my hand. And I cast Eldritch Blast at one of them. All right, roll something besides a one for a change, will you? Yeah. You know, I... <laughs> hey, you just, hey, just pulled a 20 on your head now. Yeah, he wasted it. Yep. Yes, I did. Cool. Cool. I don't know what to do about these dice ears, man. Can you change the color? You should try to get different, like a pink change, or a red color, or a... Yeah. Uh... Roy, change what's the, the, rule, what's the, the rule on me giving him my inspiration? Can I you can give him your inspiration. You can. Inspiration? Players yeah. can actually trade inspiration. Hector, Hector, you take my inspiration. I believe we did it for oh. Zavrosky like five times last week. Trying to get sure did. <laughs> yes! There you go. You're welcome. Oh. Critch that Eldritch Blast. Hooray! You're uh -oh. welcome. Thank you. Bad news. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. All right, let's do it. Eldritch Blast damage, baby. What the hell did he just say to me? What? Yeah, what, is, what, what is I, I don't did know. What was that? Fucker? That's Eldritch Blast. That's Eldritch Blast, bitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you liking me now? That's great. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, look, look, let's just, just, uh, I think it's, oh no, it's damage, hang on, uh, that's a good damage roll too, so, yeah. so, but is it, 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 with the crit, we're doing the, the max damage and then the roll, correct, so it's 19 instead of 17, oh, <gasps> take it, bitch, take it all, set a fuck <laughs> All right, which one of these right is here. it? That's right here. Which one is that? Huh? Which one? Two, one of the three. A one any of the one three. of the three. It doesn't matter. Right, we'll say yeah. This this guy is blown up. So this this blade flies through the dark air of the cemetery, hits this raven, and it explodes. Not in the burst of feathers you would expect, but as it does, its form shifts and molds into this small humanoid, and it just explodes in this explosion. Oh, I said explodes too many. Explosion of guts and blast, and lands on the ground. Dead. The, the other two ravens uh, Ooh, look at this so and they're like, uh, "That come here." Any other, uh, Zavrosky, it is your turn. So I have to dash before I can really see what's going on, or what's the deal? Um, you know, you can make a move and kind of see what's probably see what's happening. We'll, we'll give things cover since you're kind of going through the trees and the graves and stuff like that. But you can kind of see the scene where the coal is sort of in this, this clearing area. And there are these, uh, some trees all around him. And I, uh, there is, there is an orc. Fighting oh, these. I'm sorry. There's an orc. It's Grimshar. It's clearing. It's yeah, Grimshar. You, you, find, you see Grimshar. That's true. Oh, jeez. But but he's holding cold cold uh, sword, and he just threw an eldritch Jake blast. Cole. Jake, he killed Cole. <laughs> he took his powers. Die, son of a bitch. Yeah, you yeah. You see the orc. Anyway, like let's go. Zavrosky moves up, and uh, he'll chuck a vicious mockery at one of the remaining raven imp creatures. Oh, man, those poor guys. Uh, did, he saw the explosion of one of them, right? Sure, sure. That's what pulled you in. Your next foul creature. <sighs> Apparently, they're unfazed by being mocked. Uh, they're, they, they're, they are ravens. They're, they're good at that kind of stuff. They're not crows, but they are ravens. Yeah, in fact, they seem uh, unnaturally resistant to your, your magical mockery. Uh, any have, other, anything else? And then he'll inspire Cole. <laughs> you have yeah. this, you can explode them all. <laughs> you have Sweet. bardic expiration. It Go seems there, that way. So this, um, so this, this one raven, it sort of leaps off and kind of flies at you. And as it does, it transforms <laughs> into this tiny pink skinned humanoid. Uh, with wings and this barbed tail, and it comes in and it's like <laughs> and attacks you with its barbed tail. Cool. 
hits you with a 16. <clears throat> that is my AC. All right, I'm gonna need a DC 11 constitution save. You take five, whoa, five damage from the, from the sting itself. DC 11 con save. Uh, here it is. Natural 20. Whatever, yeah. So this this thing sort of hits you, but it's like a flesh wound. It, the, the barb hits you and passes through your flesh, and you see this spray of ichor that lands harmlessly in the, in the air around you and upon your skin. The second one nearby follows suit, and uh, it also transforms into one of these, these tiny humanoids. And it says, it says to you, in, oh, in, in, in. Kill our brethren, will you? You will follow him. It attacks what? you as well. Kill, kill our what? Brethren. Uh, brethren. Oh, uh, okay. Because you killed one of them, they're mad. Oh, okay. They're Whatever. not impressed by you. Uh, I'm not impressed by them. Uh, yeah, he misses <laughs> terribly. Apparently, he should have talked less and attacked more. Because uh, he misses, misses terribly as he goes winging by you in the night. <laughs> Uh, Less words, more action. <clears throat> Jake. Uh, so Jake sees, I see, I assume for Zavrosky close in on Cole, and Cole's fighting with these two things. We just saw them transform, right? Yeah. So you're like basically something like fifty feet away. Um, you so can I can get within the... short bow range with a single movement. Sure, but we're gonna call. We're gonna give them cover for short bow just because you're at a range. So it'd be a minus two on the attacks. Wait, 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 wait. So, but then I'll use my oh, cutting action. You're moving it closer. closer. Oh yeah. So okay. I can move 40 feet. I move 40 feet. So Never if they're only 50 then. feet away, I can get within 10 feet. My That's bad, my I'm... bad. I was thinking you were shooting from across the distance. Yeah. No, if you go in close, then yeah, you've got a clear shot. So you see these two small humanoids buzzing around Cole, trying to sting him with these, these large stingers that are dropping down from their butts. Perfect, they're distracted. <clears throat> um, I will, I let's go after number three. And I'll fire off the short bow at him. An 11, though. Miss. Hey! Careful! Uh, 11 is a miss. Uh-oh. Alright, what else you got, Jake? Uh, that's, uh, that's it. Alright, that takes us back to Cole. Cole Voidfang. Okay, do I have, uh, these things in, in melee range now? They are both in melee range around you, yep. Excellent. Then I will, uh, Swing my sword. For a 17. Ooh, that's an easy hit. For 13 damage. Oh, they're so cool looking. Imps. Especially when you chop them up. Oh, yeah. Uh, 13. They're better as familiar. Oh, jeez. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'd like... Uh, this is your... This is your blade? <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right, so what does, a, what does a death look like on this, this tiny imp creature with your blade? Uh, he, he actually just does a quick upswing with the sword with one arm. And the imp does one of those anime things where it just kind of slides down the middle and then falls to the ground in two halves. Gotcha. All right. Like that. The imp... imp, <laughs> the imp. Imp uh, is 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 cleaved, cloven, cloved, clove, clove, cleaved, cleaved, cleaved? cleaved? something. It's not cloven. Not cloven. Cloven. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, a, I'm look, man. Cloven is hooves. I'm a <laughs> computer guy. I'm not an English major. Okay, look, man. Bear, bear, give me some slack here. All right, cleaved. Uh, they... <laughs> He Cleave. was cut in twain. <laughs> cut in twain. <laughs> this does this does take us to the great Zavrosky watching as your friend cuts the sky in half. There is still one more buzzing around, flitting, flitting around. It doesn't even look like you need help. Hey, he's well, on. you know, just go for it. He charges next to him and goes to stab the last imp with his rapier. Ooh, wow, rapier. This thing is much faster than he thought. He, <laughs> he also tripped a bit on a, on a uh, marker. It's damn loose stone. It's like it's following us around. 
All right. It's not the greatest terrain for fighting. Um, all right, this uh, this imp who taunted you last time, uh, he says again, yeah, well, taste the sting. And he attacks you again. Cool. We you can't miss one. Oh, oh. <sighs> Fine. And... Uh, I guess that's all I can do. All right, fine. Uh, Jake. To Jake. Okay. I believe I can do this, but I just want to confirm really quickly. Oh, wait. No, that one. Anyways, okay. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to fire the short bow off at this imp again. He's kind of buzzing around cool, so I can try and take a shot at him while he's distracted. And I'm not going to do it again. Oh, man. <laughs> he's fire wide. I'm not going to do it. Careful with your shot. Hey, I'm, I don't usually use this thing. <laughs> it's like shot. It's just throwing him off. I was landing near you, Cole. It's like, psh, psh, psh. who are you shooting at? <laughs> I'm not good with this thing. That, uh, that my first tickets? time. <laughs> this usually doesn't happen. And every other excuse in the book. Usually, usually Alona does this part. I don't know. I'm like, uh, come on. Uh. Broski, I told you. All I'm saying, remember last episode, I fucking told you. Uh, okay, back to Cole. Cole, what you got, baby? Gotta get him on those daggers. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> swing again at uh, this next imp. Oh, man. For 19? Cole is brutal, man. Oh, Boom. Rolling high when it counts. Oh, Jesus. Fuck stealth 14. <laughs> Fuck stealth he slices chat. this one in half, too, but this time horizontally instead of vertically. Oh, man. Jeez. So you guys like, Cole, don't worry. We'll come save you. Cole's like, psh, psh, psh. yeah, what's that? You guys, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. We were distracting them. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, Good it's teamwork. Like, Good teamwork. Yes. He's like a Jedi, like man. Like he force blasts one, and the other two, he just doosh, doosh, like, like the lightsaber. Just zoom, zoom. Thank you for the crit. Oh man. Um. Okay. Well, I, I, uh, I, I thought oh, that might and, be a little and more. And then Cole, Cole will turn around and quietly go. Well, I think it's time to leave. <laughs> I, I thought let's, that would be a little more challenging than that. Sorry. I, uh, let us, let us uh, avoid these lanterns on the way out. Huh? Next time we'll make it 20 imps and not, uh, not a mere three. You don't even need a Lona. You're fine. Was it, was it just the three? It's all I saw. Uh, they, they, there may have been more, but I, I'd rather not uh, uh, push the luck. Very well. It, it almost seems like he didn't need our help at all, but I'm happy to I, help I am, in any case. I am glad that you are here, though. Thank you. Yes. Just but, so you uh, know. Let's get out of here safely. These guys can do a lot of damage if you don't make your saves and they actually hit you. Oh, Just... I know. That poison so... is... <laughs> Real bad, <laughs> but to us, it's like whatever. Yeah, he exactly. just murdered these guys. Well, this is like the the uh, what was it intellect of hour, right? Like, had Hector failed to save, that would have been a very different <laughs> encounter. But yeah, that <clears throat> shit would have been in my skull and piloting me like a Jaeger. That'd be cool. So um, yeah, so once again, silence descends upon the city of the dead as the the bodies sit there and they sort of as you watch them they sort of melt. <laughs> into these little oh. puddles of black ichor over the the next several seconds. And you guys so Rusty able... finds some kind of stick and pokes the ichor and is like, I hope you didn't need the bodies or anything. Was it some kind no, of they, contract? They just, they just needed to die. All right. Um, at least I, I didn't get extra instructions. It was it was kind of vague. It was like, look, look at this. <laughs> They're killing my ravens. You should probably do something about it. Yeah, you're sort of and waiting is, around. You're waiting around like... Is is this goo useful in any way? Do people use this? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, you could take some if you want, but... It, it I, I don't think gross. I have anything that can hold it. I, I'm not going to put it in my water skin. Uh, let's just leave it there. Uh, let's go. We'll uh, we'll go we'll go get a drink at the the yawning portal, huh? Yes. All right. So you guys. I'll see if I can get it on me. Excellent. Even better. You guys. I was like free alcohol. Yeah. So you guys uh, do manage to get back to the yawning portal um, for a drink, and the Durnham 
during him as you go up to the drinks he uh, he actually asks you for coin and you're like uh isn't this free and Durnham's like well i suppose it's free for you but it really felt to me like you were just down it in tonight zavrowski i don't i don't know so let's just call this one you pay me it's fine. Well. How, is it uh, like a nib a drink, or what's what's the price for the? Yeah, whatever. Ale or you you whatever. can spend whatever you want on a on a on a drink. It's fine. <clears throat> so yeah. the this night, are you guys? How do you guys get home tonight? Uh, uh carriage. I said I would pay we'll, for it. We'll, we'll take another. I'm carriage. a man of my word. I would said I would pay uh, for it. Hey, 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 while while we're drinking, at some point, uh, Cole will be like. I, I really appreciate you both coming out and helping me with this. I know Alona would have come if she wasn't busy, but uh, <laughs> I'd rather not bother her when she's having her alone time, you know? Oh, did she end up fighting with Yagra? Oh, yes, and it was glorious. We are going to we are going to make so much money on the public fight. At least uh, I know it's a good idea then. Hiding a half job at this point. <sighs> <laughs> All right. It was glorious. <laughs> Sorry. So you guys, um, you guys, so so five more uh, shards. I got to, it. I covered right, it. To get to get back up the other side of town, and you guys make your way into the night. When you get back, well, let's just say that orcs are known for their endurance. So. Still well, going on. If the house yeah. is a rock and don't come in <laughs> <laughs> The next morning dawns. And it's still going on. Still going on. No, I, got I have important places to be. No, it's not still going on. So the next the next That's morning. Very true. <laughs> the next morning dawns. And you guys find yourselves in the, the main room of the place. You you make your way down the stairs and um I don't know. What's the plan for today? Anybody have any plans for today? I gotta go see Patty. Oh, all right. So you're getting up early to go see Patty at the monastery. Yeah, I'm leaving Yager <clears throat> in the bed, and I'm going to see Patty. Okay, so you're out I'll by dawn. All right. So, yeah, so, all right. The rest of you plans for the day. I mean, Zavrosky makes his way back to, yeah, the manor. See what's up. Okay, so you kind of head back. Oh. Um, I would imagine coffee, breakfast. Yeah. So Alona, your um your transaction actually goes pretty smoothly. You you head out to the monastery, you find Patty. Um <clears throat> a ten day supply is gonna cost you five dragons. Well you, did you ask for a twenty day supply? I forget. You asked for twenty. So yeah, so ten okay. dragons, twenty day supply, ten dragons, no problem. Um you got it. And then you can kinda make your way back to the manor. So at the at a reasonable hour of the morning. You guys all find yourselves gathered back in the floor of the manor, in the, the tavern, what is clearly designed to be a tavern, but is just sort of in bad, bad need of, of renovations and such. Uh, so, guys, I meant to, I should have brought it up last night. I don't know what I was thinking. I was focused on the imp problem at hand, one thing at a time. Uh, some... uh, we already oh. took care of it, don't worry. Wait, you no guys problem. are fighting without me? What the fuck? Uh, well, you, you were, were doing a little your own crazy. kind of fighting, all right? I, didn't, I know not to bother you when you're doing your fighting. Yep. Oh, cool. You have a peaceful, dreamless night tonight. Fantastic. And Fantastic. this morning when you wake up, you have upon your body the mark of the Raven Queen. You tell me where and how and the Simple specifics, pet. but... You have... It's on the tip of my penis. For completing <laughs> for completing that quest, you have the mark of the Raven Queen somewhere upon your body. It is your call as to how that Fair how that is. It could uh, be like I Mike Tyson, you. right? It could be... It's, it, it's, uh, it's literally just a, a spread eagle posed raven. Spread raven, Walking, yeah. but like across... It's a chest plate tattoo. Like a giant... Oh, your whole chest? Yeah. Ooh, Damn. all right. All right. Bold. Bold. All right, you got it. The um. I don't remember getting this. I feel like your chest looks like an '80s van. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Got the Firebird. Just like, instead of <laughs> instead of it being that weird Phoenix shit, it's it's the same thing, but it's a Raven. That's great. Yep. So that's what you got, baby. The chest, man. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. So you guys what should... does this thing do? <laughs> do I know? It looks good, baby. It just... it just looks good. <laughs> it's just a mark. As far as you can tell. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna walk around shirtless like, like, like... I'm gonna Gina. walk downstairs and be like, guys... He woke me up, I was sleeping. Did we get tattoos at some point last night? <laughs> you had a few drinks. I don't remember dropping off at a tattoo parlor, but, uh... Yeah, so I you got it. I don't remember this, but it kind of looks cool. Huh? What do you think? Does it You're working me? it, you're working it. It, it suits you very well. You guys are fighting without me, getting drunk tattoos without me. What the fuck, guys? BC! Somebody you were having, me. from what I heard, a very good night on your own. You couldn't have waited for me? Like, you couldn't have done this tonight? Getting drunk tattoos and beating shit out of people? No, you had to go and do it without me. There's we plenty of people to beat up. Next time. We have, we have murders to potentially look into that you'll probably be able to beat some up, up over today. Absolutely. There you go, murders. murders and by the way, the, the, the imps, they weren't even that tough. They were like little bugs. It, it, it took like call all of what, videos. like 15 seconds to kill them all? Not even. 18. Not even. 18, thank you. 18 seconds. Zervoski's a little bit enhancing the story. <laughs> no, he not by much. My call out. Fine, fine. That, look, you guys keep your shit up next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Roy's feeling punchy. I, yeah. Oh man, I, I wanted the. Oh, I, I the thought punchiness. like I thought that'd be a little more of a challenge. Okay, fine, fine, no worries. So you guys are. You guys find yourselves in the tap room, the what once was a tap room, of the Troll Skull Manor at an early morning. And we're talking brunch time. Plan of the day, or are we just gonna start them as in renovations? What's the this is uh, day two. Well, actually, you guys haven't technically started any kind of anything for renovations, I guess. So, so we don't have money. We gotta wait a week yeah. before we can even get money. So there's no renovations. We, we got. Zeroski will note that they will, they could get 200 gold from this murders case, and that might kickstart whatever they're trying to get done. Uh, are you gonna Are you gonna mention the black stuff thing? Oh yeah, I was I was gonna mention it. The, but yeah, Jay, I got a message. From uh, the black staff. That was awkward because, yeah, I was in the middle of it before. But yeah, I got a message from the black staff last night. Is that what you call it now? Yeah. Oh, gee, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What do I call it? It's that big. It's that big. <laughs> Is there a reason you're telling us, or you actually mean the black staff? No, I actually mean the black staff, but I like to go along with these things. Is okay. that what you? <laughs> oh, somebody mark that. Somebody, somebody, please highlight that. That's oh my god. That's... <laughs> Is that what you call it now? <laughs> as, as, long, as long as that rumor makes it to the bars, I'm good. Uh, I mean, so I, have, fucking beat, guys. I don't know if that's a good oh thing. I don't, I, mean, God, I, don't, so I don't know. I don't know. That's a good For thing. a pale man, being called a black stuff usually means some kind of disease. Don't Not where think I'm you from, want, bud. I don't think you want that rumor. Not where I'm from, bud. Thank you. Go ahead. Karen's taking the kids where I'm from. Love you. So, uh, all right. So, are you going to the Black Staff? Did you have any information about why, or are we just supposed to? No, I, I got a message in my head, man. I was literally going to, on my way to bed. I got a message in my head. I was going to, I, I ignored it because I was like, um, I was hearing voices in my head, and I'm going to ignore that because it's not usual. So, I went just going to bed, and then we went to do the imp thing. So, it was kind of distracted. Well, Forgot about let's it. make sure we're not any in any kind of trouble or issues or maybe they'll pay us i don't know well, I mean, it, if, it, if we were in trouble with the black again. staff i feel like we'd know about that yes but it, being directly contacted by her is a bit unusual is it we not? do have trouble yeah. like, we do own a, a place with potential spirits in it so you know i mean it's up to you guys if you guys want to go we can go i'm just i was letting you know because she said all of us i don't know why she just talked to me someone? but she's she said all of us you, well, you then, are uh, the one of noble birth, so usually you would be the contact. Yeah. These things matter not. Speaking they, of trouble, though, Zavrowski, where did you go yesterday? Oh, to a patron. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right. 
uh, it's Ar artists like, it's are, like a benefactor. Yeah, artists are usually use very often. They use smaller words. Very often have patrons. Uh, someone that helps. That you appreciate out. their art. That's all. I. Can we go beat someone up now? Yes. Very likely I, soon. I, I I think the black staff first, no? Yeah. So not we're not beating up the black staff. They'd probably kill us. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah not, that very easily well. too. So where so are we you guys uh, planning on? To wherever the black staff's tower is. Oh, so black staff's tower is actually, it's pretty well known in here. So it's in the market. Um, let's see. Did I show? Let's see the water deep players map. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Is there like a west? Whoop. Let me see. Northwest. Go west. What? Southwest. Southwest. Is there just a west? West. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this map is a better detailed map of... Hold on. Better than the Grognards. <clears throat> better than the Grognards. That's what matters. So here's it's a the map only thing of matters. the western part of Waterdeep. Oh, Lord. The Great Drunkard. I want to go there. Yeah, and Blackstaff Tower is like right... There. <clears throat> and as you guys know, Blackstaff is, uh, it's a title, uh, a name given to the current High Mage of Waterdeep. And uh, it's a an item. The, the Blackstaff is an actual item, an artifact that has been passed down from mage to mage to mage as, as long as history has, has been told. And the current High Mage of Waterdeep you generally goes by the title of the Black Staff. Uh, her her current name is Vajra Safar. You guys would, I mean, this is pretty common knowledge. So you guys are headed there. Yep. All right. That's 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 the deal right now. Okay, you can get there, and you are you are walking there. Yes. Ooh, you know what? This is actually... I'm going to change the music. Tell you what, this is a good time since the DM is out of a drink and you guys are <laughs> headed... <clears throat> funny, funny how breaks... I'm dry right now, so... Uh... <laughs> funny how breaks coincide often with the DM being uh, out of out of drink. I don't, I don't know how that works exactly, but you know, coincidence. <laughs> I don't, what, uh, what perfect I, like, timing. Look, I don't make the rules here. I, I just... Uh, uh, yeah, so let's take, uh, can we take five? We will, we'll take five, we'll, uh, hit a bio, we'll refresh our drinks, sharpen pencils, polish dice, whatever we do on break, and we'll be right back. Um, don't leave, or actually, go ahead and leave, but come back, see everyone. No, don't, what, what? No, don't, don't tell just everyone wait. to leave, just, just relax. Relax. you can leave take your stuff on sure. and go walk away take a, break. take a piss, take a shit, we'll be, we'll be five minutes, ten minutes. What they said, Read yeah. Read magazine, don't, we'll be back. <laughs> stay with us, see, see you in five. Don't leave. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.